Hello you guys, what's up and welcome. For today, I wanted to take you guys along with me, of course, to TJ Maxx and Marshalls to check out all of the brand new goods they have in store for this week. Also, I did meet one of you guys at Marshalls this week and I thought it was the cutest, cutest thing. I was in my pajama zone, so if you'll ever see me in TJ Marshalls, 90% of the time I will be in pajama zone, <laughs> which is like my life slogan. Um, but anyways, it was interesting because 100%, literally 100% of the time, whenever I meet any of you guys, which happens occasionally here and there, I always ask like the person that I meet, I'm like, oh, how, like, how did you know it was me? Because I feel like I look different with that makeup. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. And every single person says, I mean, it's your voice. Like you can't, you can't miss it. <laughs> and I just think it's like, the cutest but like also funniest thing ever and I just I love it so I love everyone is response is literally the same exact thing so that definitely made my week uh, this time around other than that if you want to get first dibs on the goods that I find at Marshalls and TJ and in general with makeup then you guys can definitely follow me on Instagram if you don't already but let's go ahead and get started so starting off here is what we're working with at TJ Maxx a bunch of bunch of restocks this is an item I don't think I've seen. I've seen the Hello Kitty setting spray, but I don't think I saw the setting and priming spray by with this little one on it. This is oil absorbing, so if you have oily skin, it might be nice for $7.99 full size. They also have some of these little mini beauty blenders here. So the actual beauty blender brand, which I think is so awesome. I think these are nice. It's good quality, but I just use the full size for everything. But if you were curious about it, they have it here now. They also have some of these by Buxom. These are the Divine Goddess Luminizers. They're all in the shade Venus. I didn't know this even existed, but it's so exciting, full size. And then here is what the actual product looks like. So it would probably be really nice for uh, to mix in with your foundation, to even just wear on its own for an illuminated effect. We have some of these palettes here by the Sephora Collection brand. A few of them actually, they're all in lilac. This is the I Love Bloom palette and it's $6.99. I know that they have a few of these on their uh, site. Typically, I think these are 15 bucks, and then the packaging is so beautiful. Here's what the palette looks like. You get three metallics and four mattes. A little bit more on the cooler tone side, but stunning. I love the color story. It's just like a nice, easy one that you can throw on for like a day-to-day -day basis. Also, because the quality is really good, it's a win palette for me. They also have some of these I Love Bloom palettes. So I know, like I said, they have a few of them in the collection, but just different color stories. This is in Mari Gold, also $6.99. It's a bit more warmer. And then here's what the color story of this one looks like. So, I mean, it's actually not too warm. I thought it was warmer. I would say it's more neutral, not too cool, not too warm. But also with this, three metallics, three mattes. This middle shade here is so pretty. I also spotted one of these blushes here by Laura Mercier. I saw one a lighter one last week, but this time I found this one. It's a little bit more of like a peachier tone shade. It's really nice. Matte finish in Bellini, full size. And these are only $12.99 when typically I think that they're at least $25 or more. They also have a few of these Laura Mercier mineral finishing powders. I don't know if it's their typical loose translucent powders, but um, here is what it looks like. I wanna say it is. So it's in the shade number one. So I don't think it's actually their loose translucent powder. I wanna say it's a different product by them because typically the translucent powders have shade names of like translucent, translucent medium, and a translucent deep. This is just number one. But regardless, really cool. They also have this Real Techniques brush kit here. I always like to show the kits that they have just because they're great quality brushes for an affordable price tag. This is the Flawless Base Set 2.0. You get three full sizes for $6.99, not bad of a deal I would say. And I love the color orange, so this is a win. From time to time, they'll also bring in the Real Technique sponges. I remember these used to be really popular, but I haven't heard many people speak about these in a while. But they have this four piece sponge kit from Real Techniques for uh, $12. They also have this one right over here. This is the Miracle Complexion sponge. I don't know what the difference between this one the orange one I showed you guys, but this is pink. So <laughs> there's that for $3.99. It's, I wanna say the same size. They actually have more of the Untamed Sigma palettes here, which I found last week, but last week the one I found was broken. It's $24.99 though. I feel like I wish it would be a drop cheaper because it's kind of pricey, you know? And a lot of you guys actually agreed with me on last week's video. Okay, this one also with the black shade, it's just, I feel like it's very prone to breaking. But the color story is so beyond gorgeous. I might even be able to find this cheaper on Sigma site, so maybe I'll check it out. But they do have these now. Just make sure that that shade is not shattered when you pick it up. They also have a decent amount of these Sephora Collection Glow Peel Pads. 
This is supposed to give you a radiant effect and it's supposed to smooth as well for $4.99. 60 pads in here, not bad. And I also have this by Bare Minerals, the Exfoliating Essence, which I think we saw in the past, but they have it here again for $12.99. They brought in more of these Stila liquid eyeshadows here. I know from time to time they usually have these. Hey, this is cool. Why does it say mini? Oh, it just says mini tip. Okay. Might be newer packaging. I'm not sure. So they have Kitten Karma, which is their popular shade, Dollish and Jezebel. And then for Real Technique brushes, they also have this kit here at Marshalls. The other kit we found was at um, TJ. $6.99 for this. Uh, but with this one, you have the foundation shadow and blush brush. So a little bit more diverse. The next thing I spattered is another Sephora collection palette. This is in chamomile. Here's what this one looks like. They have all the same, like they all have the same packaging, so it might be hard to differentiate what's what, but this is a new one I haven't spotted yet. Here is what this one looks like. I don't know why there's oil like seeping through there. I noticed that with the other palettes too. But I would say this is actually the coolest one, like the most cool tone palette I've seen from the Sephora collection products. With this one too, you get four mattes and three beautiful, beautiful metallics. They also have a few of the Romance palettes here by W7. I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the ABH Glam palette is what I think it's called. I'll throw up a pic here. But here is what the inside looks like. It actually is pretty much spot on, like color-wise. The color story, they really, really have it down. Um, I liked the ABH palette, so if you were looking for a similar color story, this seems really nice. And I heard good stuff about W7. Like, they're not the best thing ever, but like, they're not like they're okay you know they also have a decent amount of these alme palettes uh the fabulista palettes so there's nine shades in here 3.99 and they have a whole bunch of those i found another one of the in bloom eye bloom palettes by sephora collection this is in the dahlia shade so pretty yes yeah, so i noticed with all of them there's like a little bit of oil seeping through so and just have that in mind but i love the color story of this one i love this like reddish metallic beautiful mattes beautiful metallics i think this is probably my favorite one that i've spotted so far in the nail section i spotted this one right here by the creme shop it's only 5.99 so cute you get mini on some of the nails a glue and then a file and then you also and they also have the hello kitty one which obsessed 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 with really cute and then also kind of like hopping over to this side i love this length on others but on myself i just can't do much but i think it's beautiful 4.99 for this and then they also have this style as well really great deal i would say i'm in the body care section and i spotted the hemp sponge sugar and vanilla bean limited edition scent i think this would be perfect for fall for only $12.99, I know at Ulta these are like $25, bucks. I would definitely recommend uh, picking them up at TJ if you could find them. And they have a few of them here. So fully stocked, I would say. I also, I also found the Creme Shop Hello Kitty Moisturizing Hand Cream in Caramel Macchiato. Last time I found the Latte one, I want to say, but Caramel Macchiato was a new one I haven't spotted yet. Although, a few of you guys told me the other one smells, I think it was like plastic, a few of you guys said. So I don't know how good these smell, um, but I did find it. So if you were wanting it, they do have it here, but just have that in mind. At Marshall, they have a bunch of these Florence by Mills Get Gloss Lip Glosses in Radiant Mills. I know we haven't seen this color for $3.99. It's like a bright redder type of shade. They also have a bunch of these by Flower Beauty. I actually don't think I've ever really seen much Flower Beauty here. So this is the Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. I heard fantastic things about this. Full size for, let's guess, uh, $6.99? Wow, that is a deal. Okay, I did not expect that. And they actually have a few pieces here. So what an absolute deal. They also have these really cute little bags here. This would be so cute if you're going to Disney to kind of put all of your makeup inside maybe or skincare. It's a good size. Disneyland, maybe basically <laughs> was what I wanted to say. But yeah, it's a good quality bag and I feel like it could fit a decent amount. It's possible I saw this in the past. I'm not sure, but it's the Coconut Latte Copari Body Wash. $6.99. I love their body washes. Their body scrubs are great. So they have this here now. And then we've been seeing a lot of Biosense lately. So this is the Squalene Elderberry Jelly Cleanser. It's a full size, five, basically 5.07 fluid ounces. I'll throw a pic of what it looks like. And it is only 
absolute deal for this one as well it says plant derived if you're looking for great skincare goodies at an affordable price tag i feel like biosense is where is that is where it's at they also have a few of these beekman 1802 milk mud warming clay masks i know that they're known for their um bars of soap a lot of you guys told me last time but they have this here now for 9.99 they have this waso shiseido beauty sleeping mask i found the cleanser last time but they have the sleeping mask here now for 16.99 i love their packaging if it's as good as shiseido goods it might be like perfection on the skin and then hopping over to this side um i don't know if i ever found this brush these are for a collection brush makeup match brush this is the foundation brush really nice i found a few eye brushes last time but i don't think i spotted this yeah 9.99 the next thing I spot at Marshalls is this Revolution palette. I'll throw up a pick up what it looks like. It's in a um, tin package and it seems like it's a face palette, like a blush slash highlighter palette. Very cute. I'm actually kind of surprised they have the pore toner bomb here with green tea and witch hazel from e.l.f. I don't think I've ever seen this, but it looks like a pretty solid product. And I like that it says no parabens, no sulfates for only $2.99, a full size of that. This right here is one of Kopari's newer releases. This is the Coconut Hydrating Body Milk, 8.45 fluid ounces, so a full size. I'm shocked that this is here. I do really like this. It's a little bit more of like a waterier lotion, but it does sink in quickly, and I think it smells pretty good. I spotted this newer brand in the body scrub section. I think it's the She Aromatherapy brand. The Spice Apple Twist sounds awesome, so I wanted to show you guys for $5.99 what a deal. Obviously, I love the Onyx bathhouse ones, but I've showed you guys millions of these last week. Uh, they also have another one from the She brand, the Spiced Cherries one. Beautiful packaging, very intrigued, also $5.99. Next, they have one of these Makeup Revolution, the Savior Deep Cleansing Brush, which I actually thought looked really cool. I don't know if I wanted to show, because look at how cool is the holographic box. I don't know if you guys really care about this brand as much, but I thought the the brush was insanely amazing like how awesome would that be to apply like a mask with or like foundation so last week i actually found a bunch of the revlon and barbie products i just didn't find the lash curler which i didn't even know that they had in the line but how cute is this and it comes with an extra like piece over there that you can kind of switch out once it gets dirty because you have one like over here um 3.99 for this one it seems great and I don't know, hopefully it'll look, work well. I love the color. Yeah, I also found the Pumpkin Spice Burt's Bees uh, lip balm. So one that I haven't spotted yet. We did see Wild Cherry already, but I figured I would show this in case you guys want to get into the full mood. I think this is really cute. They also have some of these Blinking Beaut brushes. This right here is in Brill. It's like a nice lighter uh, style for $4.99. Typically these are $25 at Ulta. Blinking Beaut has amazing, amazing lashes. This right here is in Brill as well. And they have this one in the vegan mink number one style for $5.99. The box is also really cool. These look really good. I usually like to buy their half C's. It looks stunning on the eye. I haven't tried these specifically, but they have good lashes in general. And then they have this one in stand out, which is a little bit more intense. But if you find these, I would grab and go. Okay, so I found another set of Leaking Beaut lashes. I don't know if I would recommend these. It looks very cheapy. But yeah, they have these as well. It's called Tuesday. I found another one of the Kopari body products. This just came out. Like, I want to say three months ago, maybe. $9.99, the Vanilla Tahitian, Tahitian Vanilla one, uh, body milk. And then I never saw these here, which just gets me so ultra excited. This is the Guava Ultra Restore Body Butter Yum. And I love the color for $16.99, not bad. I think typically it's like 35, so I would say it's somewhat of a deal if you were curious. They have a few more of the She Body Scrubs. I really wanna try this brand. This is the Wild Berries and Vanilla one. So cute for Halloween. I don't know if we saw this one yet. If we did it, it was in Marshalls, but they have it at TJ. And then they also have this one as well the spiced apple twist sounds awesome i am so beyond ultra excited that i found these at tj maxx i did not expect it like at all like in a yeah, million years <laughs> i'm very excited okay. very beyond excited so we have the regular morphe and jack and hill brushes but this is like the legit 
actual Jaclyn Cosmetics brushes. I need a minute. $7.99, but there's only two different styles. So JH01, and then I found the JH03. For sure picking this up, no question. I heard fantastic things about her brushes. And the 03 is also, well, $6.99 and $7.99. So this right here is actually the powder brush. It's the JH01. Here's what it looks like. It's actually pretty similar to the ones she created with Morphe. I love her Jaclyn brushes with Morphe. I constantly speak about them. So I'm for sure picking this up. It's full size, beautiful. And then this right here is the JH03 brush. I think this is a highlighting brush. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit more on the smaller side. I used to own brushes like this, um, but I don't anymore. So I am gonna pick this up as well. I hope that they bring in more Jaclyn brushes because I am legit, like my socks have been blown off my feet, I have to tell ya. Okay, and then at checkout, I thought these were really, really cute, so I had to speak about it. We got the Skull Mini Waffle Maker, four inch, and then the Pumpkin Mini Waffle Maker. I think it's adorable. And these are so affordable at only 10 bucks. What a steal. They have a few more of the Laura Mercier blushes here. Well, actually, a decent amount. Last time when I found these, they only had one. So Bellini, $12.99. These look awesome. And then Guava is also one that I found a few times. They also have the Shadow Insurance by Too Faced, which is so exciting. So this is a primer for the eyes. They have a few pieces here. I always love finding Too Faced goods. It gets me so excited. So full size for $10. Here is what the product looks like. If you have oily eyelids or you like wearing uh, primer on the eyes, I heard this is fantastic. I mean, I've tried it in the past. It's really good. I just typically use concealer, but this is a really great uh, primer for the eyes. I would say 10 out of 10 for sure. Okay, then I also spotted a few of these by Morphe, the Glow Stunner. What is this exactly? Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer. They have this shade right over here for $3.99 and then another shade right over here. This looks great. It seems like it's going to be nice and hydrating and give you like light coverage. I also really like the packaging. It feels great for Morphe. So I already found this palette here at Marshalls, but I found a bunch more here at TJ Maxx. So they are fully, fully stocked. It looks like a great color story base palette. They also have this one right here from Makeup Revolution. It's the Dangerous Love Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. And then here is what the color story looks like. It's in a tin package for $6.99. Not bad. I like what it looks like. And then they also have this one, the larger palette that belongs to this collection. I think this is the what, Joker collection? Yeah. And my Makeup Revolution as well. And then this right here is more like a colorful color story. This blue here is so pretty. Love that for $6.99, really not bad. I actually found another one of the I Love Bloom palettes by Sephora, by the Sephora collection brand, only $6.99. This color story probably looks stunning. So here is what we are working with. This one actually doesn't have like that oil seeping through. Um, you get four, also with this one, matte, and then three metallics down here. Nice, neutral, rosy-ish tone with pops of browns. Well, actually more pops of rose with more browns, basically. It's so pretty, so pretty. They also have some of these really cute nail files, set of five, Hello Kitty, and Halloween theme from the Creme Shop, $4.99. And then they also have this really cute Mickey and Minnie one. How adorable. At Marshalls, they also have the Soap and Glory Call of Fruity Body Scrub for only $5.99. I've never seen that. I also wanted to show you that they had this one by the She Brand. So $5.99 for this. I haven't seen that one either. They have some restocks on the Wet n Wild Star Power Makeup Brush Kits here. I think this is so cute. I remember finding this at Marshalls a bit ago. But they have them here at TJ for $6.99 from Wet n Wild. And then up here in this section, I found the Out and a Pow Kit here by Morphe. This is in Caramel Nude. It's a lip trio. You get a lipstick, lip gloss, and then a pencil in this color, I'm assuming. Well, I guess these are the shades. There you get. So it'll probably create a really pretty effect on the lips. For $7.99, not bad for this kit. All of these items are items that I've seen a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, bunch, bunch of times. So I didn't want to go into them necessarily, but I have these two, as well as a lot more of the Sephora and Norvina palettes here by ABH. LA Girl, we saw. They also have <clears throat> the 3-in-1 setting spray by Too Faced, the full size. A bunch of them here for $14.99 and then the Born This Way foundation also a bunch of these let's see mostly a natural beige yeah 
and these are $14.99. They also brought in a lot more of the Makeup Revolution Disney palettes. So we got Snow White here. Again, palettes we've seen a bunch of times. Uh, Jasmine, I love Jasmine. This is only $6.99. They also have these palettes here by Revlon. I remember this used to be pretty popular. It's the Not Just Nudes Color Story palette for $3.99. I didn't love the quality of this one, but they have a bunch here now. They also have this really cute little bubble bath set, which I think is adorable. Hopefully when I move, I'll be able to take baths in my house. I just don't love the bath in my place. It's just like not my speed. So I actually have not taken a bath there ever since I moved in years ago. But hopefully when I move, I'll be able to take baths. Burt's Bees actually also has this really cute kit here. I know that they're really well known for their baby products. So I don't know. I know this is really more of a makeup uh, channel situation, but this looked pretty good. And sometimes I'll use baby products on myself depending on what it is. Just because if it's gentle for babies, I'm sure it's amazing for adults. So they have this. Then they also have the Joyful Moments Mom and Baby set. So yeah, they also have like mom stuff too. This has a nourishing lotion, the shampoo, and then the Mom and Bee lip balm. And it's only $9.99. They have more of the pumpkin spice vanilla chai body butters here by Hemp's. I found the other one a bit ago, a few days ago, but and I found this last week at Marshall's, but they have this at TJ now. And then this whole section just has a bunch of different types of hand soaps for Halloween. If you guys were needing anything or wanted to spice up your space, they really, honestly, they hooked it up. Like, they have a ton. They have another one of the, this Hello Kitty hand creams this is the sweet strawberry one so more of like a summer scent i guess for 5.99 they also have this one but i mean anything hello kitty is like yum this is in peach this looks awesome i have to buy one of these one day to really see what the quality is like because from what i heard they're not like the best thing ever but um they also have this which i've never heard of the brand but it's up front and center and they have a few pieces here this is the vita Gen genic jelly mask hydrating it looks really good, I have to say. Packaging seems solid. For $7.99, there are 10 masks in here. And they also have this little kit. I think I've tried a few from this brand, actually, and they have really good stuff. I'm always looking for prices. Okay, it's the last place. It's always the last place I look. Uh, $6.99 for that. Toka has this really cute perfume kit here. It's so cute. You get three little ones in here. $12.99, really not bad. A great way to test out what they have to offer. Um, this week is totally a Kopari week. This is the Coconut Melt. You would remove your makeup with this. I thought this was okay. It wasn't my favorite when it comes to makeup melt-away balms, I guess I could say. Cool. They also have this right here by Laneige, the Hydration To Go Kit. I remember this was sold at Sephora for a bit. $12.99 and it says here it's great for those who have oily skin. I love this brand. Um, the sister brand to this brand is Amore Pacific, which their products are ultra expensive, but such good stuff. Their products really like actually, actually work. Like you see a difference almost immediately. And then they also have the dry skin for normal to dry skin kit. Also $12.99. Yeah, it's just another awesome way to try out their products without spending way too much. And these products are generally sold at Sephora. So if you love it, you can always repurchase the full size there. They have another one of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfumes here. I like mine. Mikey hates this. So <laughs> there's that. Take it with a grain of salt. They also have this Creme Shop Ready to Glow sheet mask. Hello Kitty, but I haven't seen this specific one. I like how it's packaged. You get three for $4.99. This would be so fun for like a girl's night in, I would say. Okay, and then here is what we're working with when it comes to perfumes. I generally like to just kind of go over it briefly like this in case there's one that I don't mention you guys are like oh my gosh hey that one is so good so here we have like a Scotta the clean one which I like the fantasy by Britney Spears Hollister is one I want to try one day coach we got that one more Britney Spears this reminds me of high school one of my friends used to have it we got Kate Speed back there and the honey Mark Jacobs which I really really want to get um, I know that they had the red one here, but this is the honey one, and I know it was pretty popular for a while. Okay, so I just checked the price. It's a 3.3 fluid ounce size for only $39.99, which is solid, and the packaging is delish. I need to pick it up because I rarely see this one. I usually see the, um, the red one, like the ladybug one. They also have this coach kit here as well, a perfume kit for $59.99. It's the toilet though spray. Not really sure exactly what you get in here, but they have a few of these gift sets. I actually decluttered this the other day, the MAC Face and Body Foundation here. It has very light coverage. It's really nice on the skin. 
just found that I wasn't using it much but it's like in a plastic bottle so it's easy to travel with and I think it's good for like a day-to-day -day look if you're going for something like light. They also have a few of these items here by Dr. Bronner's. Yes, so this is the organic shaving soap, the body lotion, and then the organic sugar soap. So I figured I would show. I know their brand has some pretty good stuff. So $4.99 for that. This one right here is $7.99. And then this is pretty large for $7.99 as well. I just love the packaging, so it definitely like spoke to me. Oh, and then they also have the pure cast style soap too for $4.99. I'm so happy that they have more of the Flower Beauty items. Although this specific product was an absolute fail. I wished it would work out, but nothing shows up. It just doesn't show up at all. Um, so yeah, I don't know how to recommend. They also have the Flower Beauty Light Illusion <coughs> Concealer here, which I thought was not bad. They also have a bunch of these beautiful Tiffany Blue um, tweezers here by Tweezer Men, which are awesome for $12.99. They also have this beautiful flower pot blush here in Spiced Petal. I used to own this. It's actually really pretty. $3.99 for this one. Love it. I only found one. This is honestly such a find. I pretty much found all these little ones by Too Faced except for the Major Love Palette for only $12.99. What an absolute deal. I think this is my favorite from the little ones. I just like the color story and the quality is great. Here is what this little one looks like. You get beautiful green tones and some browns as well. I love using this one. It's really fun you can create really pretty looks and i think it's a really good one compared to the other ones this is probably the best how pretty is the color story and 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 the packaging is heaven pure deliciousness so that's pretty much it that wraps up this week's find if you guys are actually having a hard time finding anything at your stores i know emma had mentioned to me that august actually is inventory month for tj maxx and marshall's but i know september time they do get back on track and September actually is one of the best months at TJ Maxx based on my experience of shopping there the past few years. So keep your head up high if you're like, oh, this place sucks. So hopefully it'll get back to normal very, very soon and it'll be, you'll be able to find the goods ASAP. But I'm looking forward to reading your comments and I will see you all in my next video.